What this does is it will take solar panels or shore power, store it in the battery, and then give it back to you. And the cool thing about us RVers is it gives it back to you in the form of a 30 amp RV plug. It only puts out 20 amps because that's what the battery system is designed for, but it's got that right shape. And just about everything in an RV is under that 30 amp load anyway. It just changes what you can run continuously. And if you've been RVing for any length of time, you know that you can't run your electric hot water heater, your microwave, and your air conditioner all at the same time, even if you did have a 30 amp plug. Besides the magic of the 30 amp plug, you also get some regular 20 amp plugs. And I have used this to make coffee at a truck stop in the morning and I have used this with its USB ports A and C to power different devices, recharge my laptops, run my T-Mobile home internet. And then for those of you that even know what this thing used to be, it ain't no more. Now it's just a auxiliary port. You can run any of your accessories that use that thing, like CB radios, for example, or low power ham radios right out of there. Or you can even make up your own cables with this thing.